Yo, what's up, guys? It's Red Fox Games here once again. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Festival Fantasy Frontier. Okay, here we go, guys. This is kind of where we left off yesterday. Uh, we're gonna talk to Elric again. We've kind of read this all of this uh, last time, so we're gonna go with him and let's go to the new park that you want us to go. And this guy looks so much like a girl. Like, look at the way he smiles. Damn. Like, I mean, this guy. I don't know if you got like a transsexual surgery, you know, girl to a guy or something like that, but uh, I don't know. You kind of look like a girl to me. Uh, I mean, just take a look at that. He just looks so much like a chick. Are you sure you're a guy? I mean, Becky looks more like a man than you. Um, <laughs> no offense, but if a real girl is more manly looking than you, then, you know, got some problems. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on with the journey, guys. Enough of this BS. Ancient world. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We've been here before. That's interesting. We're coming back. Do you know where we are? This is it. That's right. We're back in the ancient world. How's that possible? Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I'll explain that in good time. But right now, we have a job to do. Remember when you destroyed the BR Brigade Super Brain Drainer? Well, the wreckage of that machine still exists in this time. Such machinery is far too complex to be left lying about in the past. If it is dug up at some point, it could disrupt the entire flow of the space-time continuum. So that's why we have to recover. Now let's get going. Okay, let's go to the target location. Got you, V-R-O-O-M. The hated robot. Much hated robot. I really wish that robot would just shut the hell up. I mean, I don't need you. I got the map. <laughs> I can look down on the bottom screen. I know where I'm going. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of uh, fossils here to dig up. I'm guessing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going? Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think we're supposed to go this way. Um, although we are kind of taking a detour around. I'm not sure why. But okay, we're going to go around here. And this should lead us to the area. And I just realized that I need a bone buggy upgrade. I think this bone buggy is just too slow for me, guys. I really do. But, oh my god, I did not see that guy coming. I was looking at the bottom screen the entire time. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go fight him. But, you know what? It's okay. It's all good. We'll uh, kick his ass anyways. So, Elric's Vivasaur. Hey, I have that guy. I actually had him a long time ago. I think his name was Torba, Torbu, something like that, and uh, he's strong, but I mean, he has like, he has to, like wait a turn to charge up or something like that, so that's why I didn't want to use him anymore. Uh, oh right, that's his name, Toba, there we go, Toba. That's his name. He's a cool looking Vivasaur though, like he's got like a dragon head, like a Dragon Ball Z, y'all know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go give him some attack up. Okay, you got 33 HP. Knock him out, Elric Toba. I bet you he ain't gonna knock him. Look at that, 20 damage. Only. That's like nothing. You know what I'm saying? 24, he's pretty weak without the charge up. Like, he has like a charge up power. I forgot which attack it was. But if you do charge it up, his attack becomes like double. And that's what I mean. Like, I don't want to wait a second turn just to attack with Toba. So that's why I kind of dropped him off from my team last time. But anyways, here we go, guys. That was easy victory. Easy beans. Let's go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're almost there. Hopefully, no is coming my way because I don't want to deal with his ass. Um, You know, I certainly would whoop his ass, but I don't want to waste more time, guys. <laughs> I want to get to the cheese. I want to get to the chase. Oh, my God. They just keep coming. Holy damn, why will you not leave me alone? <laughs> oh man, I'm overreacting here, but like seriously, they keep coming. Like they know, they know I was gonna come over here and they all come down this road. They know it. They just know that I'm coming here. Like damn, they're so annoying. 33 damage. Becky's pretty weak too. Like what happened to the power of Big Aloe? I mean, I swear, I remember Becky being really strong, but I don't know. I just don't feel it. Miss. Okay. Can, here we go. Can, the man, you got this. Crimson combo 51. Let's give him all attack up possible. Let's see if we can do a triple hit without missing. And we did not miss, and that was amazing, guys. I love Can. Just the man he is. 20 damage. That should end him. And uh, Toba should clean this guy up. Okay, there we go. Easy beans. Let's keep proceeding. 
Please, no more Vevasaurus coming in my way. I just want to get to the target location, everybody. Okay, let's go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go around here. And uh, we should be at the target location. Why am I falling in the water? Frick. I'm a moron. Okay, let's go around here. Okay, so I have to climb this. Silly little land bridge. This like really really skinny ass land bridge to get across. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh my god, I just suck at driving. Oh uh, man, here we go. Let's see if we can make this in one shot. And yes, we do. Wow, I hate that land bridge. God. Okay, but we made it. An intensely ominous presence. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Elric, you got my back. Becky, you got my back. Oh wait, it's this thing again. That's a T-Rex! Looks like there's a dinosaur blocking the machine! Dinosaur? Alright, these ain't, they ain't uh, vivasaurs, right? I don't suppose it's leaving anytime soon, either. We'll need to chase the vivasaur away, Jura. Understood! <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Let's kick this dinosaur's ass, Vivasaur, whatever, same stuff. I mean, y'all are from the same dinosaur family, okay? Uh, we're gonna send your ass back to the prehistoric past, although you're technically still in the prehistoric past. <laughs> I'm gonna send you further back to the beginning of baby Earth, right? When Earth is born, okay. Enough talking. Wow, these guys are some strong vivisors. Look at that. 140, 150, 131. They ain't playing games. And I just used all my attack ups. Oh my god. For those two silly little triceratops. I feel really, really silly and dumb right now. 65 damage. Man, he ain't playing games. Okay, well, I don't know if it was a good idea to save Elric. Maybe not because, you know, I really don't care about Elric. He's really weak. Yeah, that was a stupid idea of mine. Um, but... We're gonna go ahead and try to knock out the T-Rex as fast as possible. Can we do that? Okay, we're pretty close. 52 HP. 52 HP, we all good. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let Toba die, actually. I wasted all that defense subs on Toba. Frick! I might actually lose this battle. Wow. I might lose this battle because I wasted so much defense subs on Toba. I forgot that Toba was like level 20. I didn't level him up. Um, although they have 66% accuracy, so, you know, hopefully just gonna miss, and, though no, he doesn't miss, wow, what a lucky, lucky dinosaur, he does not miss at all, okay, Becky, here we go, big Adlo, come on, girl, you got this, the 53 damage, okay, this is gonna be a one-shot KO, I mean, yeah, you're not gonna miss, 100% accuracy, there we go, goodbye, okay, we're gonna go deal with these other two now, uh, they're gonna die, can the man, here we go, crimson combo, okay, let's knock out Sauropod first, give us some attack up, Bam! Okay, one more hit. He's down. 13 HP. Alright, not bad at all. 64% press miss! Don't hit, please miss. Oh my god, he's going for a superpower, but it doesn't do anything anyways. Uh, although he didn't miss, so that kind of sucked. But you know what? We're tanky. We can hit, take the hits. 55 damage. Wow, that's strong. Okay, I'm going to give her some defense up. Wow, 75 critical hit. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I got to go heal my Vivasaurs up now. Alright, big aloe. Here we go, girl. Girl, you got this. 38 damage. And that's going to knock him out. I'm going to give her one LP recovery. So this was a relatively easy battle, even without Toba. So you know what? It's okay. I thought I was going to lose, but I panicked for no reason. Okay, we all good, guys. Crimson combo. Uh, give him the last four attack of 74. Don't miss. Okay, we good. We good. Okay. Triceratops going to go for attack. 47 damage. Wow, this guy is really strong. Okay, let's give him some defense up. And wow, that's a triple hit. Quadra hit. I don't know how many times he hit us, but you know, whatever. He hit us a lot of damage there. Okay, Becky. Can you finish him off now? Or probably not, though, because he's, yeah, 28 damage. That's what I thought. I don't have any more attack ups. So I'm going to give her some LP recovery. Um, hopefully, there's no more battles. Oh, shotgun force. Okay, here we go, baby. Girl, can you take his ass out? And there we go. Big Aloe being. The MVP once again. You know what? Becky always never failing me. Okay, 146 points. That's a lot of experience right there for Toba. Um, he's only level 17. Okay, so that's why he was so weak. Uh, but anyways, it's all good. It is all good, guys. We are going to defuse this device. Excellent. We should be able to recover it with little trouble now. Okay, so Elric's got this. Now we no longer have to worry about any historical disturbances. 
Let's return to our dam. I'll answer all your questions after we get back. Alright, here we go, guys. Some long chick chat with Elric. As you know, the time gate has closed. So how was I able to go back to the ancient world? Well, it's because I'm a space-time engineer. That's right. You're what? Space-time engineers work to maintain stability within the space-time continuum. When someone causes trouble that alters history, it's my job to put a stop to it. However, I am prohibited from acting on history in any direct way. Instead, I must find an intermediary and lend my powers in a secret. What? What? Now do you understand, Jura? Yeah, I do, but... You and you alone were the revisionist for this particular place in history. Holy cow! You overcame all in your path and fixed the trouble that Dr. Black Raven caused. You did such an amazing job, I couldn't be more pleased. Hey, thanks. In truth, I'm not supposed to reveal my identity under any circumstances, but... I wanted to make an exception for you because, after all, I consider you one of my closest friends. And a more reliable paleo pal there has never been. Thank you again. Anytime, man. Wait, weren't you already my super paleo pal? Oh, he was my paleo pal, but he became a super. Okay, I totally forgot about the super and the regular paleo pals. Ah, uh, yes, as a token of my gratitude. I will allow you to return to the ancient world whenever you like. You can access it from the garage at any time. Okay. That's awesome. We got a new location, guys. Well, you know what? Let's end the episode right here. I know it's kind of a quick episode, but um, I think we're pretty much done with the game at this point. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've kind of finished every event. I've kind of looked around all over the place to do something, but other than Elric, I mean, there's still Olga and Kalud, um that have run away, and I didn't really get them back. That's right. I might have to check that on next time, but for now, guys, thanks for watching this once again, and, uh, you know, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I just hope you guys are still having a great summer as always. And I'll see you guys next time.